As Resources Coalition understands the issues involved, it becomes clear that information is in short supply, so we would like to put a perspective on the issues. In 2004, DOE did a study on arsenic and dredges on the very site in question and concluded in a study released in March of 2005. No endangerment of aquatic life because of dredges in the water. This pertained to heavy metals being moved, yet clearly falls in line with all previous studies done throughout the country over the last 10 years. In fact, dredging removes mercury and lead from our waterways. Turbidity was not included in the study, yet turbidity was recorded. And when examined, turbidity from a dredge and what is put in from a small thunderstorm into the river, the effect is negligible from the dredge. Small-scale mining operations using suction dredges are self-mitigating for the following reasons. It breaks up cemented gravels, which creates previously unusable spawning areas. It aerates the water, which reintroduces oxygen to the substructures of the streams. It frees up previously inaccessible food for fingerlings and other fish. And modern equipment is very efficient at removing mercury, lead, and other contaminants from the streams. Given that there are many benefits to small-scale mining, the concept that small-scale mining interferes with the environment is not accurate. We do not raise the water temperature. We do not divert or use any water. It is returned immediately to the streams. We do not contaminate. Any contaminants in the streams were pre-existing and would have been moved by Mother Nature herself. The question Resources Coalition asks is, with the high cost of regulation and enforcement, why is a self-mitigating process with minimal impact being regulated to the degree it is today? The prospecting community promotes the clean stream concept, which is, leave it cleaner than you found it. Resources Coalition urges you to get all of the facts pertaining to small-scale mining. 